Hello, it's time for the Sermon Synopsis for May 1st, 2016. Our topic this morning was black theology, uh, relying heavily on the work of James Cone, who is a professor of theology at Union Theological Seminary in New York City. Dr. Cone has written a number of books, and one of them he wrote in 1970, which was called A Black Theology of Liberation. The fascinating thing about that book and his subsequent work is the way that he uses traditional terms and ideas and concepts and categories drawn from Christianity and uses them in order to make some very radical points. One of his points is simply that we are not as good as we think we are. And that's a classic teaching in Christianity that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But usually when we think of that it's about kind of nickel and dime stuff. And then we have to make up some strange case about how Jesus had to die for the smallest thing. But when Cone takes this category, when he takes this idea, he's saying Americans are caught up in a system that has a very grim history and a not all that pleasant present. He begins by talking about lynching. And we watched a, a video uh, where he was interviewed by Bill Moyers. Uh, about the history of the United States towards black people, particularly as it came to the time of lynching after the Civil War and well on into the 20th century. And the, the really grim thing about that is that it wasn't something that was carried out from time to time by uh, a few Klan, Ku Klux Klan people at night. No, it was something that was done as a mass spectacle, where an entire small southern town would turn out to watch somebody hung by the neck until they were dead, simply because they were a different color. When you see the images that were on that program, when you hear the song Strange Fruit about black bodies swinging from the poplar trees, it gives you a different feel, if you're a white person, about your country, about the nation, and about its history. And that's one of the things that good theology does, actually, is it calls us to see life from the perspective of somebody else to, in this case, see theology through the eyes of a people who have been enslaved, who have been ghettoized, who have been murdered, who have been denied some of the basic freedoms that most white people would take for granted. And when we look through those eyes at God and at human beings, we get a very different picture. And Cohn mentions that God simply is black and that Christ was and is black, and the Holy Spirit is the empowering presence among black people as they confront white supremacy, white uh, brutality, and just the fact that in the United States, white seems to be the norm. And so, in listening uh, to Dr. Cohn, in reading his books and watching the interview, begin to be challenged as a white person about the way that we look not only at African Americans and other people, but at the way we look at God. And Cohn is very strong that God is on the side of those who are oppressed, who have been denied their rights. And therefore, God is black. And he even goes so far to say that Satan is white. And given his context, I think he's right. And so, I encourage you to, to pick up one of Dr. Cohn's books and to read it through and to try and do so from his perspective see the world through black eyes as much as possible, and, and as you do, begin to think of God as being the one who loves those who are oppressed, who desires to see them set free, and who is genuinely angry and wrathful at people and systems that would deny people their freedoms. If you had someone harm a child or loved one, would you not be angry? Would you not be wrathful? Well, Cohn's point is, so is God. And so when we try to talk about God as simply a God of love with no wrath, we're really simply not talking about God at all. Not a God of genuine love, not a God who really cares. And this is Cohn's point. God truly does love. God truly does care about black people. And therefore, he's angry at the treatment that they have received. And maybe that's something that I, and if you're white watching this, maybe you too, need to think more thoroughly. It's not a pleasant thought right offhand, but maybe it's a necessary one. Remember, God is love, and God, because God is love, has a wrathful side towards those who would harm his creation and would harm his children. Take that to heart this week.
And may God's blessings be with you.